with the noise and then the fans hitting the court? Man, it's the best one I had since I've been here, probably in my career. I mean, the Big 12, you play Kansas and all them, so it's good. But since I've been here, this is the loudest I've seen Moody. And shit, without them, I don't think we win. Because <laughs> I, I know Kyler missed that free throw because of the fans. And I know that for a fact. And without them, I don't think we get it done. Could you kind of hear just and feel just how loud it was getting right before that free throw? Were you just really aware, like, oh, this is getting loud for this one free throw right here? No, nah, I mean, it was loud the whole game. So, I mean, it was just normal at that point. I was just hoping he would get the bubble goods and miss one and we get the rebound, and he did. You guys fell into an 11-0 hole at the beginning against the number six team in the country. How did you sort of gather and regroup and reverse fields and come out with a win tonight? I think it was just our energy and our effort. Uh, the first first four minutes, we didn't come out with what we needed to do. So, you know, coach got on us during the timeout and was like, you guys got to go. Otherwise, it's going to be a, a boat whooping the whole night. So we just turned up our energy, turned up our defense, and got the job done. You think maybe the early start played a fact that you guys knew just how important this game was from a NCAA tournament standpoint or just a season long standpoint? Uh, for, for us, every game is important for us. Just just win, getting a W in the win column, that's just it's something that we strive for every day. Every day we come into practice just to get better, strive towards others. Houston hit six of its first seven threes and then went, if my math is right, like 12 of 13, or two of 13 the rest of the way. Did you guys change your perimeter defense at all, or did they just sort of come back to earth and cool off a little bit? I think that was Moody Magic. <laughs> Moody Magic. Moody Magic. They couldn't handle the Moody Magic, the Moody chain. And uh, we knew they wasn't going to shoot like that for the rest of the game. Shit, that would have been a, a basketball record. Shit, I think they shot 70% the first half, and they were going to pace the score like 100. And we just said some of the shots they hit, we couldn't do shit about. But... I mean, excuse my language. Y'all gonna bleep that out? Bleep, bleep, bleep that out. Bleep that out, yeah. There we go. But we just know, we just know, just keep chipping away. I mean, game is full of runs, and we we feel like we one win away from being in the top 25. I think if we win at Wichita with this win, we in there. So we feel like we good as anybody in the country. Kendrick, to have have the game that you did tonight in, in such a critical point, I mean, what did that feel like? It was it emotional at all to, to kind of bounce back from the recent run to? Man, no, nah, that I see all that on Twitter. Like I see it all, but no, nah, I mean, shit. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> I see all the crazy stuff on Twitter when, when I have a bad game, like I'm not human. But we all gonna have we gonna have two or three bad ones. Shit, I. I <laughs> I just hate it because right <laughs> I'll just be seeing all the disrespect, man. But shit, I might have another bad game Bleep. Saturday. <laughs> My fault. Yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, you're right. you're right. I just noticed you're what y'all was saying. You excited, man. You excited. Man. I thought you were saying league. We, we all excited. Everybody excited here. We yeah, excited. I smell like Budweiser from the fans and stuff. So I'm tweaking right now. But. <laughs> Nah, I mean, I'm going to have a bad game. It's human. Steph Curry have them. LeBron James have them. So I just kept playing my game. You've had tough – everybody goes through tough losses as well. What got, What did you see from your coaches after today in terms of the gratification for them? Or what did you guys talk about in the locker room after this one too? <laughs> we said before the game we was going to win. Mm -hmm. We said let's start the week out strong. We got Houston here. Then we go to East Carolina. We was like, let's start the week out strong. We never, we viewed them as the same as everybody else, respectfully. Like we knew coming here was gonna be hard for them, not hard for us. Like we knew playing here is hard to do. I mean, our record shows it. So we just stuck with it. Did you get a sense that this one meant more to Coach Jankovic and his staff than your other wins? Oh, for sure. You got the number six team in the country coming to your gym. Oh, it's a wrap for them. Yeah. That's what it was. It meant a lot to me, too, because I'm from Houston. So, you know, you don't ever want to lose to your hometown. So, I, I mean, for everybody. I mean, they, it meant a lot to them. They just got here. That's why we brought them here, because we knew with them we could get it done. I mean, it got done. Do you guys pay attention to, like, the ESPN projections for March Madness? Or, you know, is that on your mind at all? Mm -hmm. Nah, we just play ball and let the rest handle itself. Mm -hmm. Is there a sense? 
Is there a sense though that maybe just down the stretch is how important these games are for that idea? That I mean, all of this season has been about getting to the NCAA tournament for this program. Is there a sense of, as the season goes on that just how crucial these games are? It's it's important, but you, you control what you only can control, which is you know going out there and trying to get a W. Well put. Well put. Oh, <laughs> Marcus, you've been playing as the small big for the last several games. How much did it help down the stretch after Carlton fouled out for Houston? That is a big boy. boy. That's all I gotta boy. say. That's a big hey, boy. That is a that's a big man right there. You know, he's he's a load to handle down there. He score every time if he wanted to. But um, you know, I ain't gonna say it was a sense of relief just because I'm a competitor. So you know, it's kind of how the cards fell. It fell our way. We got the W. We call him Charles Barkley. We call him Charles Barkley. Anything else, guys? All right. Thanks, guys.